Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, author of the book Trust Funnel. Today we're talking about a simple strategy, a change of mindset of moving forward and really what you're focused on in your day-to-day -day marketing that can have a profound impact on your ability to generate life-changing financial results. Let's get into it. One of the things that we're always thinking about when we're maybe creating a blog post or a publishing content to Facebook or Instagram or leveraging YouTube is the algorithm. It's the machine. It's whether or not the machine is going to determine how much traffic we get. Are we going to appease the machine, the algorithm, the Google bot, the Google gods? This is old school thinking. And while we want to pay attention to certain priorities anytime we're publishing traffic, anytime we're publishing content to our website. What's more important is that we focus on adding value, right? Today it's much more about people. It's about, you know, publishing content that's going to have an impact on the people that you're trying to connect with. And when you start thinking in that manner of adding value with Anything that you do, if you're publishing content, your goal should be to add value so there is an exchange of value between two human beings. And when you start to switch your thinking to this manner, what's going to happen is you'll find that people really love your content. And in today's web marketing, that results in people sharing your content, people liking your blog posts or your Facebook status updates or your Instagram photos or your Pinterest photos. And when that starts to happen, it starts to have a dramatic trickle effect. More people like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you just focus on the machine, oftentimes what you'll find is you're so worried about the Google gods, the SEO algorithm, rhythms that you start to prioritize in a funky kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense if you're trying to make the money from the people let me give you an example back in the day when I started out the flow kind of went like this number one research keywords number two try to identify the keywords that can generate the easiest traffic low-hanging fruit keywords number three create content based on those keywords number four optimize the content to rank in the search engines etc now Honestly, today in 2014, halfway through the year, that is a flawed way of thinking. Instead, create content that you're passionate about. Create content that you know your audience is dying to see. Create content that has that impact. And when you do that, guess what happens? You start getting results. Again, people share, stuff goes viral, and when you create content from your heart, it's much easier to create something that really is awesome. And when, pe when people see awesome things, they link to it. You grow your page rank, you gain more page rank, you gain more inbound links, and you're focused on the very thing that can get you the money that you're after, right? I mean, if you're making money from the people that are uh, accessing your information, finding your website, following you on Facebook. Doesn't it make sense to prioritize those people first and put those folks first? Absolutely! You bet! <laughs> so, with that, instead of you know just thinking about the algorithm and the next uh, update or whatnot, when you start to switch your thinking, it's, it's really, uh, what's the word? It's very freeing. It frees you up to just be a creative being, to express yourself, to create awesome content that impacts people, and you're going to get what you want. So think about that. Now the other thing, and this is kind of where we're going in the future, which is kind of awesome when you're going to put a book out there and you're looking forward, which Trust Funnel does, is that we're heading into what I like to refer to is the trust matrix. You know, back in the day when I was in my uh, grandmother's lab in the basement, uh, you know, dark, creating these websites, it was all about the algorithm. It was about fooling an algorithm. I didn't care about people. I still made money. 
those days are long gone. Today, the algorithm is based on things like how long people stay on your website. If they come and they leave right away, you're not going to be appeasing Google, right? If people find your website and they only visit one page or they hit the back button, do you think Google is aware of that? Absolutely! Absolutely, Google knows. If uh, you're using the Chrome browser, there's a good chance that Google might be, you know, kind of understanding what websites you, you like, where you travel online. And this is the kind of thinking that you want to adopt. And where we're heading is the trust matrix. I want you to stop and just say, ask yourself, you know, what is it about the web that is a common theme wherever we go? I'll propose it is the like. Everything today runs on the like. When somebody likes something, they may link to it. Good. When somebody likes something, they might opt in. Better. When somebody likes something, that may uh, trip an algorithm with Google, right? If someone leaves a comment that shows other people on your website that your website is happening, that's called social proof. Today, the trust matrix is coming, uh, is coming, right? The trust matrix is, is the idea that everywhere you go, there's buttons where you can like, you can love, you can share, you can comment, and they're all tied in together. You put a Facebook button on your website, you, you uh, go to YouTube, and you have a chance to like and comment, and that's linked to Google+, and it's becoming an ecosystem. It's a currency today. The trust that powers the web is truly the currency in where we're headed. So get on board with focusing on what truly matters, and that is delivering value, adding content that people love, and you are going to get some tremendous results. Hey, Brian G. Johnson, excited about that book, Trust Funnel. It's coming. I'll see you soon. Cheers.